Welcome, 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 Doctor. I am the Doctor. This is the Doctor Origin Show, or reality as you see it. Uh, don't forget to vote for me for president, by the way. I am Charles Kendall, the Doctor, as you will come to know. Uh, daily show, I guess. We're doing daily updates for those who are early voters. Um, I am the 2020 presidential candidate who will be elected if the people actually get to be heard. I am the uh, man of the people. I will not make any money. I will not become wealthy. Uh, I will limit my um, income yearly or spending. Let's put it that way. I won't spend personally on myself more than $42,000. And I believe we should uh, encapsulate the financial uh, sector so that we eliminate uh, the actual uh, function of inflation. So there's a whole e new economic model. You can read about it in my book um, and uh, the uh, programs that we're trying to create for for that uh, the few people that I have working with me right now but hey if you if you want to help subscribe like and vote for me for president and make sure um, you know they declared Charlottesville Charles King Charles who's about to be crowned and Elizabeth oh he's not Right? So, I mean, you can't make up these things. The words, they happen in history. And history is the dictator. Now, a lot of times the media may come in and, and try to, you know, misdirect and change, but they are demons. Anyone who speaks to you either speaks to you from one or the other tongue. This is the voice of God, and maybe there's some vagueness around it, and this is the actual voice of God. And here's the voice of Shaitan, his antagonist. And you're listening to one or the other. And sometimes you could be hearing the voice of God in the weirdest places, <laughs> from the strangest people who probably sometimes even hate God. So you have to recognize how to hear God in the context of the day. And second, um, well, just follow my show and then you'll get the rest of it. But if you want to read my book before we all get to heaven, go ahead. And if you have any questions, I'll try to help you answer them. <laughs> uh, but just know these, these are more like a a donating platform so buying my book is hopefully and I'll let you guys know uh, helping me like wow somebody just bought 400 copies of my book like that's a thing sometimes rich people do and then they just use this bonfire for all I know I know you know who knows maybe they distribute and let people read it this is a it's more like a genius 15 year old boys girls book um, well, asexual it's not really uh, it's biblical, you know, it's, it's in line with uh, biblical truths. So some people might not like it. We're thinking of coming up with a more secular version of it, uh, kind of coming at the world with the story, like a puppet show kind of crazy. Um, but hey, if you're good at art and that kind of stuff, we're going to do all of this stuff. The doctor is here. Have no fear. Oh. So, what is a priest? And why is there a priest? What is the requirement of these two priests? And why will they continue in heaven? If you haven't uh, studied that part of the Bible, I'm sorry I've thrown that story at you. Uh, but just 
realize everybody is a bundle of stories, and the doctor, of course, has the uh, most of them, unfortunately. That's why uh, I know how to heal a lot of them. So, uh, he, as for healing, first, think well of yourself. Don't go, man, woe is me. Uh, at least physically. Physically think well of yourself. I'm sad. Okay, well, tilt your head back. <sighs> Force this, this musculature that's you know, doing this to open back up. The secret is in the hand. The hand is in the secret. Study the hand to know the body. Did you ever wonder why God out? Always ask you know, for stuff to be put on the earlobe, the thumb, and the toe. Did you know the body is more fascinating than most Greek doctors uh, have led on? And I'm anti-Greek medicine, if you didn't know. I am biblical medicine only, so. And I've healed five, pretty sure five diseases from it. Five that I used to take about 12 medications for. And now I take one medication. Well, maybe. Well, not counting food, so. All right, so one of the secrets of the doctor. Hmm. Mm -hmm. How to heal your spine. How to heal pain. Let's get there. Pain, 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 go away. That demon is already dead. So if you got him in your house, call me. We can get him out real quick. First, posture of healing. Reach up and get picked up by your dad. And then go swinging. Oh, oh, oh. The pillar stance in Kung Fu is the first stance of the Bodhidharma, not of Bodhidharma. Bodhidharma is not a person, it's, it's, a, it's a movement, it was an enlightenment. So the enlightenment is using your weakness against yourself. So how to apply martial art to create healing in your body used to be martial art 101. So that's where the doctor begins. You want to learn how to fight like tomorrow? Uh, you're going to need to go down the street. We teach warriors how to be warriors here in Phoenix, Arizona. Please like and subscribe. Come down and prove my bullshit martial arts wrong, right? Please, I learned it all from God. Yep. No lineage whatsoever. No, I'm, I've trained with many people, but we can talk about that much later. Why I am the Grand Master of Kempo. Uh, because I, I mean, there are several. Let's put it that way. Uh, but I don't know anyone personally. Well, I've seen a few that are pretty interesting. I, I want to visit uh, a few people on YouTube. So and and uh, so be encouraged. Uh, I have commanders coming. So uh, we're a martial authority. Uh, beauty storytelling is uh, martial authority, and we will travel around and give you our opinions on different martial arts, schools and whatnot. By the way, I teach Shaolin, Tong Sao. Okay, that's the Cantonese word and a Mandarin word. I know you're all. <clears throat> and my official title is Senshi in Japanese. Mm -hmm. uh, in the Heaven and Earth Society, if you want to become a member, you have to 
embrace all aspects and once you become enlightened it's actually a process you, you'll know when it happens uh, when you become enlightened then you will begin to teach but until then you must practice until you know that everything I do is the same thing so how do you use your body, your weakness, uh, against yourself to, it's, it's kind of like, how do you do Aikido to yourself? How do you do Jiu-Jitsu to yourself? Uh, Jiu-Jitsu is a healing art, so if you don't know it as a healing art, uh, I'm not a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu teacher. Uh, I've been known to roll around on the floor uh, with some Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu people, but uh, I do not teach Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I've got about four or five months, maybe three, three months of uh, Bra actual Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu training. I trained with Megaton, I trained with uh, Helson uh, Gracie, I trained with uh, uh, Nathan, oh man, can't remember his name. Uh, Phoenix, you know, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, uh, Gracie Jiu Jitsu. Uh, I've done uh, some Tenth Planet with uh, people like, oh wait, uh, you know, alternate Jiu Jitsu, like uh, Spartan Jiu Jitsu, uh, Banks Jiu Jitsu. Banks MMA, well, Bill Banks, that's uh, the guy I pretty much cut my teeth with. He's a good friend of mine, so if you have any questions about his enlightenment path, let me know. Hopefully he's coming soon. Uh, but you have to do things like, you know, you have to study all the martial arts. And one of them is um, what is currently called TCM, Traditional Chinese Medicine. And you got to realize there's a lot of nonsense and magic in Kung Fu because uh, in old Shaolin, it was like a theater. It was like an entertainment thing. They, they, it was the university of Shaolin. So if you want to come to train at the university of Shaolin, we'll negotiate your training. Uh, you know, I'm not trying to take all your money, but, uh, the exchange of value always has to complete itself. So please give me a call. Message me, whatever. I don't get a lot of followers, you know what I mean. Not a, a lot of enlightened people in the world. Good, good. So if you want to become one of the enlightened, learn how to train in Kung Fu for real. Oh yeah, they're giving me all kinds of money for doing nothing. Kind of crazy. I got conspiracy theories for you about that, but you know. Well, you know, coronavirus. What does that mean? It means the fringe of something. So they're killing off the fringe. This is like Mother Russia. And... And people are, di and they're like, well, go out and riot. Yeah, maybe some of you will die. <laughs> they, well, and it's more demonic than, you know. So I'm here to cast out all those demons. They're going to be gone soon. Don't worry. The doctor, 2020.com. All right, good night. Okay, so that's why I'm going to be president. Oh, hopefully you heard that. No, you can't. Uh, so mm, that one, I think, was much higher. When you do the snake technique of Tong, when you do that correctly, it's kind of like, just let me give it to you real fast. Empty yourself like you're dead asleep, and you're just totally relaxed, and then and then stiffen up 
right there. Ooh, sometimes you can't, so be careful. <gasps> and your whole body, you push your blood out like that, <laughs> as if you're straining against the world. Very, very gently at first, like, <sighs> but it's kind of like you're a mannequin here and you're controlling your spine and then you can relax it and then you can tighten it and you can relax it and notice I didn't even move. So, well, maybe you saw you move. So the magic of Tong Sao is it's real, real difficult gong fu. And nobody has gong. And when you expose that to people, you don't have gong. Hey? I have gong. I see you could feel, you can feel gong. As soon as you put your hands on somebody with gong, you're like, oh crap, this guy's got some, he's got some service skill. And the secret of that is <clears throat> you can do this over and over again until you're really tired uh, and you'll probably stop doing it. But the secret of Tong is to never stop. That is the martial art. You can make up all the moves you want, but that is the most important. And as you strain against yourself, you'll feel, oh, my neck isn't aligned after 20 years of living on the planet and doing this too much. When I go like this really fast, it hurts. So, first principle of Tong, get hit. Then fight. Make sure they're serious before you kill them. Because we are holy warriors, training to be holy priests, so we don't want blood on our hands. He struck first, notice my hand was cut off. <laughs> or, he struck first, see the bullet. We're gonna need proof of power. Proof of power exchange. I will demand an accounting for every drop of blood. What do you think that means? All of the animal, everything has that blood balance. So in tradition, besides just <clears throat> doing pung exercises like that, uh, and you guys want a better word for that, I, you know, frustrating, <clears throat> frustrating, uh, I think is a better term, because it's an emotional path to study Combat is an emotional path. The first thing you must do is be calm and controlled. It's important to practice this above all else. Stillness. what happens in stillness, you can't be still. The longer you train, the more you know. And when you can't be still, you can be controlled. Everybody has a little, you can see it in my fingers, look at that. Bouncing up and down like a supernova happening in that part of the universe. You need to imagine your whole body as a universe reflecting to the other, to the universe outside. So make what's inside first peaceful and calm. Then I'll teach you the rest of the martial art. But that is the most important part of the martial art is... When you can do that in your whole body, make sure, like, for instance, that was
was a crack, and that was a crack. So, because they have these uh, subluxations here, and there's gaps and gases, and you know, the blood doesn't flow. It needs to have a little bit of movement. It, you, know, you don't have to rock the boat crazy. You just have to move real easy. I guess we're coming up on 20 minutes. This is the doctor reminding you first, practice peace. Not fear. I was a cop and I'm going up to somebody in a car. Look. Hey, you got you got your insurance and license and all that ready for me? Because I'm stepping out. Alright, here we go. And you know, you're stepping out on your stage of death. So if you are a cop and how easily could we solve this problem with some Bluetooth networked Skype vehicles, you know, I propose this teeny tiny little technological hurdle of uh, policing is going to be something we'll solve in the first nine months of my presidency so that everybody will feel safe because they'll be guarded by people they know and they'll be judged by people they know. So I'm going to actually not dismantle uh, the policing agency, but I'm going to turn it into another institutional organization, uh, a separate institutional organization, a, a warrior academy, only 144,000 members, of course, at a time. So as soon as we can get that done, we can have peace and prosperity, but then we'll have to work on all of the turmoil on ourselves and you'll have to tune back into the doctor's show until you're healed and I just say hey wouldn't you rather just go to heaven and believe in God but no you want to be here on earth I, I, people I don't get to I'll see you later